it's the sport of my life, I guess, and you know, it's an American pastime. As a kid, I grew up listening to games on the radio. You know, I'm, I'm like a descendant of a previous generation of baseball lovers. Before I was good at Little League, I was like a little peewee t-ball kid and stickball in New York, and you know, just baseball, baseball. New Era was a kind of a dream brand to work with, you know, just from my own sports. Because I associate New Era with like all sports, you know, all the uh, like American, you know, the, the, the top three, you know, baseball, football, basketball, I mean, whatever. And the officialness of, of the New Era hat, you know, it's like, that's it, that's the, what the pros wear, right? My parents were Brooklyn Dodger fans, and, and even though we lived in Manhattan, we were, they were more sympathetic, I guess, to Brooklyn. I'm just about to turn 60, and I'm not at the prime of my time, but I'm still doing my thing quite effectively. Mm -hmm. It's what I'm calling the, the opening, uh, the opening of my third act. In, in my story, you know, and, and it's really positive right now. So 1955, the, I guess the, you know, the last Brooklyn Dodger championship uh, there. Um, that's the year of my birth. If I ever wanted to do anything with baseball, uh, as much as I love the Mets, I always was thinking, you know, I'd really like to do a throwback or some sort of a historical hit, you know, and so I was very grateful that they allowed me to do that, you know, and so I mean, uh, you know, it's, it's got my symbolism, although I felt we, we did it somewhat low key and, and kept the, you know, the kind of purity of the thing intact. Yeah, there's some of my little atomic uh, iconography here, but it's quite subtle as well. So, I mean, over the years, I, as a child, like I said, I had many great memories and then that just got me on my way as a fan and, and a potential wannabe. But then later in life, and I was talking about this project I did like six, seven years ago, where I visited all the stadiums, you know, so, and then that was kind of like a labor of love, uh, something I always wanted to do as, as a fan and someone who supports the game and like just loves the idea of all of these venues and, you know, each one is different, you know, the diversity of, of the league and, and the stadiums and all that was something I really wanted to see myself, and, you know, so having done that was my big, you know, baseball opus. As an extension of what a graffiti artist's uh, roots are, which is essentially, you know, you have a, a tag, you have your, your, your brand, maybe, if you will, and, you know, you just stick it up there and, you know, you let the public interact with it in some way. You know, so many years later, having uh, commercial products available, when I see my name uh, embroidered like that onto some product like this in connection with this whole story, I'm very proud of that, you know. And, you know, as someone who comes from that other story, like, wow, this is very cool. And I think this is just a way of talking to my history and, and my introduction to baseball through this great franchise you know and so I guess that's it how I feel but I do love it and I don't really rock my hats like this anymore but but I could I could I could rock this one this way <laughs>